Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to calculate CP and CPK, or Process Capability Ratio and Process Capability Index. This question corresponds to problem 6.31 in your text. In this problem, we have a process that fills small bottles with baby formula and has a target of 3 grams plus or minus 0.15 gram. 200 bottles from the process were sampled, and the results showed that the average amount of formula placed in the bottles was 3.042 grams. The standard deviation was 0.034 grams. We're asked to determine the CPK and then what proportion of bottles meet specifications. So from the data, we can determine that the upper specification limit is equal to 3 plus 0.150 grams, which equals 3.150, and the lower specification is 3 minus 0.15 or 2.850. We can also pull out the standard deviation of 0.034, which we'll need later. Even though we're asked to calculate CPK, we can calculate CP because it's always handy to know, and that's equal to the upper specification limit minus the lower spec limit divided by 6 sigma, or 6 standard deviations. So that's 3.150 minus 2.850 over 6 times 0 0.034. That turns into 0.3 divided by 0.2, or a final answer of 1.50. Since it's more than 1.0, this tells us that the process is more than capable of producing within specifications. Now on to the CPK. That's equal to the minimum of the upper spec minus the average over 3 sigma, or the average minus the lower specification divided by 3 sigma. Working forward, that's the lower of either 3.150 minus 3.042 over 3 times 0.034, or on the lower side, the average of 3.042 minus 2.850 over 3 times 0.034. So we have to pick between the lower of 1.059 or 1.882. We pick 1.059 because it's the lower of the two, and 1.059 then is still very capable, but tends to favor the higher specification. If you want to compare that to uh, a CPK of 1.0 for three sigma quality, that would mean that 99.73% of the output meets specifications. So that means that 0.27% or roughly 2.7 defects per thousand is what we're dealing with here, which is still pretty low and very capable. So a CPK of 1.059 is slightly better than that and fairly centered even though it slightly favors the upper specification meaning that some bottles might be a little more than the average and there you have it cp and cpk once again